What's up guys, it's Loesch here back for another reaction video. If it's your first time here, welcome. I react to music and music videos that I'm listening to and watching for the very first time and you get to experience that with me. Now I get all of my suggestions for music or most of my suggestions from you guys. So if you have tips or suggestions for other bands, artists, music that I should check out, let me know in the comments. I would love to give it a listen and if it seems like a good opportunity, I might do a reaction video to it. Now, a quick shameless plug, I do make my own music. Uh, I'm a music producer, a DJ, and I also mix and master different genres of music. But I have several playlists on my channel if you want to check those out and, uh, and give those videos a like, subscribe, etc. It really is appreciated. Now today I'm going to be reacting to, a it's, this is like a blind reaction to me. This is something that popped up in my YouTube, like for you home feed. Uh, every once in a while I like to just, you know, shoot my shot in the dark and and film like a genuine reaction to something that I've never even come across. Um, I've never heard, or maybe I have, but I just never put like the name to the face or whatever to the music. This is uh, Kenny Hoopla and the song is called One Tulip. This came out couple weeks ago um, just shy of a hundred thousand views when it came out at the time of filming this video so it seems like a relatively new um, artist perhaps but I'm pretty excited I've done a lot of videos for um, Dax back in the day and um, who else AJR uh, that were also blind reactions I came across them you know whether they be through comments with you guys or on my YouTube page and I like checking out new stuff so let's give this a listen as always, I have my trusty Audio-Technica headphones, which if you have suggestions for other headphones I should use, let me know. This is gonna be Kenny Hoopla, One Tulip, in three, two, one, and play. <laughs> Some breakbeat, jungle, D and D.
Whew, okay, okay. Um, where do I begin? <laughs> where do I begin? Um, I just want to say that um, if an artist chooses to go a certain direction with like the fidelity of their sound um, for an artistic purpose, then that is incredible. That is completely their discretion and and up to them. And it, sometimes that fits the vibe, um, you know, and that if that's what they're going for, then that's that's awesome. They achieved it. And if that's what Kenny Hoopla was going for in this video, then that's awesome. Um, the reason I start with saying that is because from a mixing perspective, as an engineer, listening to this mix, there are some things that I think could be done um, to improve the track um, and, and improve only if there is a desire to have high fidelity. I'm, I'm being very careful with the words I choose here because I don't think any art is bad. I don't think this is bad at all. I think it's incredible and I think this artist is really being themselves. I, um, I'll get to that in a sec. But from a mixing standpoint, um, it felt very mono, it felt very narrow, and it felt very muddy in the low mids. Now, that style and the way that he had that high pass, or it's kind of more of like a notched EQ filter on his vocals to give you give it that like telephone effect, that is a style. That is a style of, of vocals that um, you know used to be very popular in older music uh, because that's all they could do at the time. But there, it it retains like a nostalgia factor, and I think that he was going for that nostalgia factor in this song. Um, mixed with the fact that the drums were um, very narrow, uh, almost no kick, very minimal low end. You couldn't hear any kind of pop from the kick. Uh, I'd have to look at it with like a spectrogram to really, um, a spectrograph to really like visualize where the frequencies are popping out. But it was very obscured in the general stereo mix, um, which again, could be to the effect. Um, the drums were extremely unquantized, which it gives it sort of more of that raw feeling, that raw energy, um, less formulated, less like on the nose, which is cool. Um, and then the vocals, because you had the vocals and the guitar and the, whatever pads there were, and then even like the, the toms of the drums playing in there, it created this really mushy middle section. Um, or very muddy mid, mid, mid middle section, which again, from like a high fidelity feedback standpoint is not the vibe. It's, it's, it's muddy. Uh, it could have been spaced out more, drawn out for stereo width, for height, depth, for saturation. It wasn't, um, but that's okay. Again, if the artist's intent was to go for that style, uh, which if it was, I think the style was done very well. Um, this is the type of song that I think I would hear um, at like a dive bar um, with very low light at, on a Tuesday night at 11 p.m. with two other people in the bar um, just mulling over their drinks. In the background, I'd hear this and I'd see some VHS playing like the Goonies in the corner or something like that. Very Seattle coded um, is, is the energy I get from it. Um, it does actually give me kind of like early Kid Cudi vibes um, with like, if you compare it to like the prayer or even the pursuit of happiness, um, less fidelity, less quality than those songs. But, uh, in terms of the artist, the artist's appearance, um, the things that I think the artist is singing about, um, uh, lyrically it was, it was kind of hard to understand. There were some sections where words would pop out, but it was difficult for me to grasp the entire theme. Um, if you know what the song's about, then please let me know in the comments. I'd love to really like gain a sense of like understanding here. Um, but, and you know, it's, it's also difficult coming into this as like a first time listener. Like maybe this isn't the best first song for me to listen to from Kenny Hoopla to like understand who they are as an artist. Um, you know, maybe I just happen to pick one that is one of their niche one-off like personal project songs that is not meant to be on the album or whatever. And if that's the case, let me know and let me know which one I do need to check out in the comments because I'm definitely always willing to give artists as many, um, as many attempts and tries uh, to, to win me over as a fan. Um, but the one thing I will say uh, 
positive, and I think everything is positive if you, if you think about it positively, um, is I really um, appreciate the artist's dedication to being vulnerable in this type of a song. Um, it's not produced to professional standards, in my opinion. Um, the video is rather basic, very, very minimalistic. Um, the vocal work is very minimal, etc. I think it's very vulnerable, and I think maybe that's what the artist was going for. Um, I think I need to listen to more Kenny Hoopla to really um, understand who they are as an artist. Again, this was my first time listening to this to this guy. So, um, but either way, it was an experience, and I think I need to do some digging. If you have suggestions for other um, tracks from Kenny Hoopla or from any other artist uh, in any genre. Um, or style, please let me know. I'd love to check it out. I love checking out new stuff like this because it helps open up my ears and horizons as a producer and artist as well. So yeah, thanks again, guys. That was Kenny Hoopla, One Tulip. Um, please let me know if you have any comments or feedback or if you have other songs for me to check out. I'm completely game. Um, if you guys like this video and enjoy this channel, please consider subscribing. It really does help the page grow. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.